In our morning rounds, we look at a surprising new government study on alcohol use. It finds that even though one in three American adults drink excessively, most are not considered alcoholics. Dr. Holly Phillips is with us to translate and explain. Hey, Dr. Good morning, Holly. Gail. What is the definition of excessive drinking in this case? What do you make of this study? Right. Well, well, definitely the most surprising aspect of the study was how many people drink excessively. So excessive drinking is two things. It includes binge drinking, which is four or more drinks in one sitting for women or five for men. Mm -hmm. And it also includes heavy daily drinking, which is more, eight or more drinks a week for women or 15 for men. What the study pointed out, though, is that 90% of people who drink this way are not considered alcoholics. I know. I'm just sort of stunned because right. how can you be a binge drinker and not be an alcoholic? What's the difference between well, the two? Right. Well, Gal, you know, it, there, there is this subtle difference. Alcoholism is a medical condition. It has a number of criteria, and heavy drinking is one of them. But it also includes heavy drinking despite it taking a toll on either your work life, your home life. You continue to drink even if you have legal troubles. Uh, it also has to do with problems controlling your consumption. Sometimes people who start can't stop. It's that sort of thing. There were also some surprising findings, Holly, right about, about who's doing the drinking. Exactly. You, you know, younger people, particularly men, are more likely to do it. Uh, people with higher incomes are more likely to binge drink, whereas people with lower incomes are more likely to become dependent on, on alcohol or, or technically alcoholics. Um, but what I found most, the biggest takeaway here, you know, we hear a lot of people say, yes, I drink, but I'm not an alcoholic. What these researchers are saying is, we acknowledge that. You're probably right. But in terms of your health and in terms of the toll on society, that may not matter. The toll on society is one thing, but your health, what exactly does it do uh, that's detrimental to your health if it's moderate drinking? Say? Right. Well, they, they point to 88,000 deaths from, from excessive drinking, not alcoholism, uh, related to increase in heart disease, uh, increase in breast cancer, increase in liver disease. Uh, accidents. Alcohol connected to yeah, breast exactly. cancer? Yes, it is. Alcohol oh. is very directly is connected. Yeah. Um, the, the, the medical connection? Women who drink alcohol are, in fact, more likely to get breast cancer than women who drink no alcohol at all. So alcohol so has an effect like uh, smoking does in terms of cancer? Uh, you know, they both have their own, they, they affect different, different air, organ systems of the body, but both yeah. really raise our risk of disease overall. Dr. Holly Phillips, thanks for much. Is moderation the sure. word once again? It's all about moderation. Yeah, it always is.